Good morning, Bob. How are you feeling today? Good morning. I'm doing pretty well. Okay, Thanks we saw you. Oh, good. Uh, how are you doing today, ma'am? Good. Okay, good. Well, we saw you yesterday when you were in, um, you had been admitted to the hospital mm -hmm. the night before. Um, I just wanted to come in and see how you were doing. Um, and also, we have our medical students here, as well as a family medicine team. Mm -hmm. And um, we're teaching our medical students how to give presentations. Mm -hmm. We wanted to see if it was okay with you if our medical student gave a presentation about your current status with everyone in the room. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, great. All right, Ryan, uh, what do we have here? All right, this is Bob. He's a 53-year-old man with a history of type 2 diabetes mellitus, hypertension, and smoking. Uh, he was admitted 24 hours ago for an acute onset of chest pain and mild shortness of breath. Uh, overnight, his pain improved. Now it's a 2 out of 10 with no radiation. Uh, also, the shortness of breath and nausea has resolved. His temperature is 97.8, heart rate 92, respiratory rate 22, blood pressure is 105 over 70, and his O2 sat is 92% on room air. He is not in acute distress. His lungs are clear to auscultation bilaterally, and he has a normal S1 and S2 with no murmurs or extra sounds. Uh, an ECG revealed a slight ST depression on the anterolateral leads, and his serotroponins are normal. Uh, these findings are suggestive of myocardial ischemia, and I suggest what we do is continue oxygen on nasal cannula at 2 liters per minute. Uh, also administer Lovenox, statin, aspirin, and nitroglycerin. Uh, we should conduct a stress test, and if that ends up being positive, we should consult cardiology. And I believe we should also discuss smoking cessation with the patient. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, Bob, ma'am, do you have any questions? No. Okay, great. All right, we're glad you're feeling better. Right, we're going to keep you on that road, okay? Thank you. Okay, great.